And now let's turn to Benjamin Baker for a look at Adventist history. We're glad you can join us again for This Week in Adventist History. And this week in 1926, the periodical African Division Outlook featured an article by the Foreign Mission Secretary of the European Division, Walter Edwin Reed. Reed reported of a revival in the interior of the Gold Coast, modern-day Ghana. Many villagers throughout the region had turned to the Christian faith and were worshiping on the seventh-day Sabbath. What was so unusual about this revival was that the leaders in the Gold Coast Mission had no idea who the individual was who was leading so many people to Christ. When John Jacob Hyde, superintendent of the mission, went to investigate, he found scores of Sabbath keepers in several villages. Concerning who brought them to Jesus, all the new converts could say was that an old man was here and he taught us what we know. After days and many miles of searching, Hyde finally found the old man who lived at the end of a village on a cocoa plantation. It turned out that the man, whose name is lost to us today, had learned the truths of Adventism secondhand from those who had heard the good news when Adventist missionaries had first come to Ghana so many years ago. The cocoa farmer evangelist told Hyde that if the mission sent a teacher to the villages, he'd relocate to another place where the gospel had not been heard and win souls there. Reed ends the article by reporting that upon this man's suggestion, quote, now we have teachers located in those places and many of the villagers that the man brought to Christ have already been baptized. Today we spend the whole segment highlighting this nameless man's story in tribute to the countless individuals around the world who have spread the everlasting gospel but whose names we do not know. Their names are known in heaven. And that's This Week in Adventist History.